Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Hunter x Hunter 2011 episode 48 review. So before I get started, look down below in the description for the actual link to this week's episode and the Facebook fan page all in the description down below. So, this week's episode of, uh, this week's episode of Hunter x Hunter, basically, it's a lot less intense and a lot less dramatic than last week, because last week it was the fight between Uvogan and Kurapika. But this week, we go back to Gon, Killua, and Leorio, and we're seeing them amass money in order to get, you know, in order to reach that 8.9 billion zenny threshold so they can actually bid for the Greed Island game. And the thing here is that right now there are two ways they are trying to, there are two ways that they are amassing money. The first way is by trying to find the members of the Phantom Troop. The second way is when is, is when they actually discover, because like I forgot what it was, but basically there are these items that are for auction or for, um, or, or um, uh, basically you can buy these items, all right? You can buy these items and resell them if you want to. And all and all, all you have to do is put your name and how much money you're willing to spend to buy this item on this tag. And the person who has the highest, you know, the so the person who I think it was like after a day or, or like a few hours, the person who is one is, is willing to, to spend the most money gets the item. And the thing here is that Gone and Killua actually figure out that by using Gyo, they can look at the items and then they, they can see aura. And usually when an aura is on an item, the item is either of high quality or made by a famous person. So what happens here is that they go around and they actually, you know, try and find items and that, you know, have aura around them. And, and then, then I think they find like three or four items, um, like a Ben's knife, uh, some kind of weird signed autograph, you know, paper, some doll, and then some chest. Like the main one is like this, uh, not a chest, but like it's a wooden statue. Oh yeah, and uh, they find one more weird item, but it gets bought by someone else named Zipile, who plays a major role in the episode, you know, later on. And what happens here is that they want to have these auctions, I mean, they want to have these items put in the auction. They, but however, they can't do that because the auction right now, um, because the items have already been set for the auction. So they cannot put these items into the uh, auction because, you know, it's too late. However, the guy recommends that the guy recommends that they go to the trading house. Because like, the guy who told them that there's no way because it's too late, he says, try the trading house and then you may get some money for them there. What happens here is that Gon and Killua, they go to the trading house, and then they find out that a lot of the items that they have are worth, you know, a fair amount of money. However, the the wooden uh, wooden statue is apparently worth shit, and so he would actually spend like I think it was like eighty eighty thousand zenny on the wood alone, and then this one Zepa walks in there, and then he's like, "No, that's bullshit. You're fucking lying." He states that it's the content inside that he wants. Then he notifies Gon and Killua that this wooden statue is actually a treasure chest. It's a way for nobles back 300 years ago to hide their jewelry and hide their wealth. And you know, yada, yada, yada. So this one has apparently a lot of jewels and money inside of it. However, and this scene caught me off guard because it was a filler scene. Well, it's not a filler scene, but well... The guy is not a filler character, but it's a filler scene. Because in the manga, it happens completely different. Another thing I noticed, because in this version of Hunter x Hunter, a lot of things that happen don't happen in the same sequence in the manga. It's like, what's going on? So it, it threw me off. Because the ball guy walks in there, I'm like, uh, bro, it's because, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of early. You know, it's kind of early for your introduction. He walks in there. And he's bidding, or he is trying to convince Gon and Killua that this wooden statue is in fact a fake. That that, that someone could easily take out the contents and, and then put a fake content inside of it, and then thus meld it together in order to trick people that in fact it's real. But then Zipile is arguing against this whole entire thing, and then, and then it's back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Zipile winds up winning this argument, the ball guy walks back inside the room, and then they crack open the wooden statue, and then all this jewelry comes out. The thing here is that in the manga, what happens here is that Zepile and Gon and Killua they leave this room. Then they go to like back to like someone's apartment, 
they crack open the chest, and then they have all the jewelry and shit, or or uh, all the treasure, and then they go into the actual trading, uh, the uh, the uh, what's it called, the, the the trading market. They go back to the trading market. I think they have the wooden chest displayed, and then they and then they have all the jewelry displayed, and then the ball guy comes in, and then he and then he's trying to convince the crowd that all this shit is fake. That's when he comes in. Not during the actual, you know, that scene. So it's 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 a throw off. Like if you read the manga, it is a throw off. But I mean it's not like a big, big throw off. And then at some point in the episode, Killua and Gon are talking to Zipile. And basically they're talking about how um why did you like for example, like why did you take uh this uh, wooden not um his weird statue, that weird like face statue? He's like, Why the weird face statue? And then he explains that he made it, and then he he's convinced that it's garbage. Going, of course, like, no, it's not garbage, because there was ordnance on it, and blah, blah, blah. And then at some point, Zeppile actually managed it. Well, Zeppile and Gone and Killua decide to work together so they can actually get some more money. And at the same time, Zeppile teaches Gone about the ways of which people can trick you into believing that something is inside a container, but in case, but in actuality, it's fake. Not real, but fake. And then, you know, all this talking, but basically, it was, it was a lot of talking about, like, non-important shit. Because, ultimately speaking, the only thing that's important is that Zed Pyle is gonna be the guy to get them a lot more money. He saved their asses with the whole entire chest thing, and now their items are gonna be on sale in the trade market. Period. End of story. The rest of the shit is not really important. But the talking about the welding and the melding and blah blah blah, that's not important at all. And then at the end at the end of the episode, Leorio contacts Gon and Killua and notifies them that someone has seen the Phantom Troop and we have a you know we have a lead on the spiders. And now they're gonna go and try and capture the spiders. And that should be yeah, that's gonna be next week's episode. But see like the thing here is that at the beginning of the episode there was this whole entire thing where Gon pawned his hunter license and got like 100 million zenny and then they had a reward for anyone who could find the phantom troop that's how they actually got video footage of phantom troop members confirmed it was a uh, it was a uh, nobunaga and it was a uh, what's her name oh my god the girl's name fuck fuck for her name fuck i want to say m no i forgot her name but fuck it god damn it all right, fuck it, whatever. Right, doesn't matter. Right, so it's it, it, it it's the girl with the, the actual thread, and then it's Nobunaga, and that's it. So we see Gon and Killua. They're running away. Zepal's like, "What do I do?" And and then they turn around. They're like, "Dude, you got us some fucking money." All right, and then they run away. And then you know Zepal's like, "Yeah, I got gotcha. you." And you know, so that that there is the entire episode. So overall, the episode it's okay. It's not good or great because, like I said before. A lot of talking about like useless shit, and also the whole entire filler scene. It's it's a major throw off. <laughs> I mean, for, for me personally, it was like a huge throw off. Like, bro, like you're coming in way too early. I mean, it does speed things up with the whole entire pacing because I I can see that they want to get the whole entire fan troop. Like, they want to go back to the fan troop stuff like real quick. I can see that, but at the same time, it's like. This shit didn't really happen, but you know, whatever. So, overall, again, my opinion, okay episode, not, you know, not too great. And we are now going to see the fam troop stuff once again. Uh, we're going to see Gon and Killua trying to hunt down Nobunaga and uh, that one chick. What's her name? Fuck! I, I should know her name. Like, shame on me. Shame on me. Uh, but whatever. So, I'll see you guys later. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'm signing out. King of Lightning will once again look down below for the fan page and the actual link to this week's episode. And I'm signing out. Peace. Have a nice day.